Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this microprocessor tutorial series. So in this video, we will learn about the instruction and data flow. So there are two parts in this video. In the first part, we will see how the instruction word or the opcode flows in the microprocessor. And in the second part, we will see how the data flow in the microprocessor. In the first part, this uh, figure is taken from the microprocessor and microcontroller book by BRAM okay so you can see the figure number 3.7 in the page number 3.11 so this is the figure of the flow of instruction word how the instruction word flows into the processor okay so here you can see we have a control unit here this control unit will control the various operations it will generate various control signals that will control or that will control the sequence of the instruction in every type of microprocessor there must be be a control unit that will control the various operations suppose there will be suppose read operation write operation execution arithmetic logic unit every part of the microprocessor will be controlled by the control unit it will generate various signals that will control the various operations okay i have explained these signals in our previous videos okay so i hope you will go into this uh, playlist at the end of this video and you will watch all the contents so the purpose of this control unit is to control the various operations in the microprocessor so in the 8085 microprocessor we have 8 bit data bus okay so 8 bit data bus this 8 bit is nothing but this is one byte therefore it is a 8 bit microprocessor or we can say that it can process 8 bit of data at a time okay and the address size is 16 bit so address size is a different one because we have the multiplex address or data bus ad7 to ad0 okay that is the multiplex address or data bus okay sometimes it, it can be used as a address bus or sometimes it can be used as a data bus okay so that is a different concept so in this video we will learn how the instruction is processed by the microprocessor or the flow of instruction word or the flow of the opcode how the opcode is fetched from the memory so in the beginning of the fetch cycle the content of the program counter here we can see the program counter program counter the function is what the program counter holds the memory address of the next instruction to be executed okay that means the program counter has the memory address okay so this program counter give the memory address to this mar mar means it is the memory address register so the content of the program counter will be first transferred to this mar that is the memory address register or sometimes simply called as the address register so mar means it is the memory address register or sometimes it is also written as ar okay or address register so in the case of 8085 this is called as the address buffer so in the microprocessor 8085 this is called as the memory address buffer or we can say that address buffer then the content of the mar is transferred to the memory address so we have the opcode memory in the program counter this will uh, direct to the memory location where the opcode is to be fetched okay this mar will take the code from the program counter and it will go to that memory address so in the a memory address the content of the mar is transferred to the memory through the address bus okay you can see here memory address bus this is the address bus through this address bus this content will be transferred to the memory suppose we have a stack of memory here okay and whatever be the memory address depend that will be decoded by the decoding unit of the memory or we can say that by sending certain control signals the microprocessor also informs that it wants to read the content of that memory because we have the instruction and we have the address that is available in the program counter that will be sent to the memory and the decoder circuit in the memory that will be activated through the control signals given by the microprocessor and this memory understand that what is to be done after decoding the memory unit or the decoder unit will tell the memory what to be done it has to be read or write then the memory sends the opcode to the data bus so after getting this memory address whatever be the content of this memory address that will be sent to the memory data bus okay so the memory data bus will take the data from the memory address or we can say that the memory sends the opcode 
we are we are talking about the instruction cycle or instruction flow therefore we have got the opcode from the memory therefore this memory sends the opcode in the data bus so the opcode comes through the data bus here you can see opcode comes to the data bus to the mdr mdr means here this is the memory data register or sometimes called as also as the data register okay data register in the case of 8085 it is called as the data buffer for this purpose so this is replaced by a data buffer in the case of 8085 the opcode is placed then into the instruction register here we can see this is the connection and instruction register will take the data from the or the opcode from the memory data register and the opcode is placed in the instruction register so after getting into the instruction register or after getting the opcode the register ir ir is the this is the instruction register okay this is the instruction register ir after getting placed into the instruction register the opcode is decoded by the instruction decoder because you can see we have the connection in this flow so after getting the opcode suppose for one instruction suppose move for the move instruction suppose move b comma a comma b suppose move a comma b for this move the opcode is suppose 78 h in the hex code it is 78 so that opcode will be decoded by this instruction decoder okay and this instru instruction decoder will decode that it is the move operation suppose so that's for example i am giving it to you after instruction decoding it will go to the execution unit so we have learned about the instruction flow so in this way the opcode is fetched from the memory so after getting decoded the opcode whatever be the operation to be performed by the microprocessor then that execution will be done and finally the program counter will be increment to go to the next instruction because already we have completed this instruction given in the memory code and the program counter will hold the memory memory address of the next instruction that will be incremented by one that is whatever with the program counter content okay so this is a 16-bit data suppose 0 a 1 f 8 suppose this was the previous content so what will be next it will go to 0 1 f 9 okay it will be incremented by one program counter content will be incremented and it will go to the next instruction and in the next instruction also this same process will now let us go to our data flow in the microprocessor so how the data flow let us now understand the execution of the instruction in an instruction requires the flow of data in the case of most of the instruction in the case of most instructions the data flow is shown by this figure a data that is word either from the memory or the input output device you can see here this is the data bus to the memory you can see here it is connected to the memory unit or to the input output device so where is the input output device input output device will be connected through this internal data bus okay so whatever be the content it need to now fetch it and it has to uh, execute the data okay so the data word flows in the microprocessor through the data bus and placed in the accumulator so whatever be the data that is available from the input device or the memory unit that will flow through this internal data bus uh, it will come to the accumulator so why to the accumulator in the case of 8085 if we have in any type of arithmetic operation or logical operation one of the operand will be taken in the or one placed in the accumulator therefore whatever be the content of the or the data that will be loaded into this accumulator and this is a 8-bit accumulator in the case of 8085 okay so here we have the general purpose registers and from the general purpose register we will use some address or the memory or the that will store the operand in the data bus okay so one of the operand or the data will be stored in the general purpose register in the case of there are two data that is we have to do some operation uh, such that this one of the data is stored in the accumulator and other data will be stored in the general purpose register so the data will come through this internal data bus and it will come to the general purpose register so after the execution of an instruction then the data will be placed into the register or in the memory location so suppose we have the program is that we have to store or we have to store the data in the some register then 
the data will be stored in the register itself suppose general purpose register or sometimes it will be stored in the temporary register for the arithmetic and logical unit so in the case of arithmetic logical unit one data will be from the accumulator and another data will be from the temporary register suppose we have the addition operation one data will be available in the accumulator and another data will be available in the temporary register okay so after the execution the, of the instruction the data placed in the register or the memory location so the data will again Again flow to the memory unit so we have to either store in the memory or we have to send it to the output device okay so after the execution of the program the result is placed in the, into the memory or the output device so when the data word is written into the memory it is also held in the MDR MDR means memory data register or data buffer we have already seen in our previous cases this is the MDR here okay so that will be stored in the memory data register or data buffer in the case of 8085 until the write operation is complete so until the write operation that is until the data is written into the memory the data will be stored into the data buffer here we have already seen this is the data buffer MDR or it is the data register DR so this much for today thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you